Hello again. Uh, this time we shy away from vaccine topic because finally we now have an investigational antiviral pill that has shown to be of significant promise in terms of reducing the chances of people getting COVID from getting hospitalized by as much as 50%. So how good and how effective is this new pill that we can hopefully get on top of vaccination to protect us against developing severe disease and hospitalization? Let's watch this. Apparently, this investigational drug that can significantly reduce the chances of patients newly diagnosed with COVID-19, reducing hospitalization rate by as much as 50% is one of those promising research that we have been waiting for. It has been shown in clinical trials that a five-day course of molnupiravir was shown to reduce both hospitalization and death compared to those dummy pills. As early as June of 2021, in a phase two clinical trial, this data showed that molnupiravir works in a manner different from other antiviral drugs, creating multiple errors in virus RNA and impairing its ability to replicate. Thereby, it works by mimicking the building blocks of the coronavirus genetic material, RNA. And as a result, it stops the progression and replication of the disease. The results were definitely promising and concluded that finally, we have a very important antiviral medication that has been shown to be highly effective in reducing nasopharyngeal infectious virus with a very favorable safety profile. We all know that ever since the pandemic, it was everybody's elusive goal to hopefully have a simple yet effective oral medication to help treat COVID-19 infection, just like when we have a bacterial infection, a urinary tract infection, or respiratory tract infection, that we just take a pill twice a day for the next seven days and we feel good. While there are many or a number of treatments now available for COVID-19 on the market, many of them are expensive. They're difficult to administer and not widely available or at most only marginally effective. For example, one such drug that we are using in the hospital during the first few days after COVID-19 infection is remdesivir, which has been shown to also reduce hospitalization if given early in the course of the disease. But the way it's given should be intravenously or by injection. Thereby, if approved, this antiviral drug, molnopiravir, could have a dramatic impact on our efforts to fight this pandemic. This is definitely exciting. What was shown was in the first 29 days of the study, there were actually no deaths reported in the group using the molnopiravir and eight deaths reported among patients who received placebo. Patients in the study had mild to moderate COVID-19 were within five days of the symptoms when given the drug, and had at least one risk factor associated with poor disease outcomes. The study was fortunately stopped early on the recommendation of an independent data monitoring committee and in cons consultation with the FDA because of its apparent early efficacy. It has been touted to be a game changer in the treatment of COVID-19. In fact, with regard to its adverse events or bad outcome, there was literally no difference between the drug and the placebo. And if there were side effects, they occurred early in 35% who received molnupiravir. And in fact, there were 40% who complained of side effects among those patients who received placebo, meaning COVID-19 infection do give you also signs and symptoms more than the drug effect. 
what we know in terms of safety is that in the first human phase one study published in an article in the antimicrobial agents and chemotherapy done on this drug, it showed that this drug has a very good safety profile with no serious adverse events among those patients who received this drug. In addition, fewer than half of those who received the drug reported adverse event, which in 93.3% of the cases were all considered mild. The other good news for everyone here is that this drug appeared effective across all so-called variants of concern, including the gamma, the delta, and the mu variant of the virus. So with these compelling results, we are optimistic that soon we will have a drug that can become an important part of the medical therapy of the global effort in our fight against this pandemic. It could also help compensate for persistent gaps in COVID-19 vaccination coverage, especially in our country. Treatments for COVID-19 therefore remain a vital component of the response to the pandemic, and new drugs like molnupiravir require more testing and review, but they are offered the possibility of a stronger and more targeted approach. What's important and what's good news of this agent it is especially useful because it can be administered in the early stages of the disease. Likewise, since it is just a pill, it may spare the patient a trip to the clinic or transfusion and therefore reduces the chances of infecting others during the course of the disease process and averts the potential complications associated with transfusions. We know that pills are also easier to transport, easier to store than injectable therapy. Therefore, this pill can hopefully reach remote areas with fewer resources, especially in our country. So we believe that one of the biggest effects, if there is, if this will soon be approved, is that this drug could be in places where COVID-19 vaccines have yet to gain much of a foothold, as these treatments can definitely help people get better. It is our hope that when this drug is going to be available, it could potentially be prescribed as soon as the patient gets symptoms, as soon as the patient gets positive COVID-19 result, perhaps reducing the number of COVID-19 patients that need hospitalization. That usually overwhelms the medical care systems because of the highly transmissible Delta variant. But while this is a welcome news, Again, I'm appealing that this is a very important for us to remember that vaccination will and should remain to be the single most important effective tactic for controlling the pandemic. We know that vaccination has been shown to really help prevent sickness in the first place and are dirt cheap compared to the most therapies for any disease. And in fact, right now, most of the different national governments offer vaccinations for free. Very important that other measures like wearing masks, social distancing, and testing for COVID-19 should continue to be recommended. And the arrival, hopefully, of an approved antiviral drug won't be a reason for us to let our guard down. Remember, the existing pillars of the pandemic response will remain critical, and important in our fight to keep this deadly disease in check. Locally in our country, this pill is now being used in ongoing clinical trial being conducted in the Lung Center of the Philippines. So watch out for more news about molnupiravir and hopefully other medications that are ongoing trials for the treatment of COVID-19 that hopefully soon we can end this pandemic. With that, I'm Dr. Jerry Tan, Thank you again for listening.